Composition of rotations. Consider a point in three frames, frame A, frame B, and frame C. Point P in frame A is represented as this, then we have point P in frame B, and we also have point P in frame C. The relations between these points are the following. If we want the point from frame B to frame A, we have to multiply it with the rotation matrix that represents frame B in frame A. If we want to represent the same point, but now from frame C to frame B, we need to do a similar thing. So we would need to multiply this point with a rotation matrix that represents frame C in terms of frame B. Now, if we want to represent in frame A a point that is initially in frame C, what we need to do is we need to replace this expression here. And if we do that, we obtain this expression. So this expression clearly will represent frame C with respect to frame A and we call that a composition of rotation. So as you can see here in this expression, we have C to B and then B to A, and it is somehow like if these two elements cancel out. The first interpretation of this rotation means the following. It rotates a point P from C to B here, and then from B to A, so we get from C to A. And the second interpretation is the following. It starts with frame A here, then makes it coincident with frame B, and then it makes coincident with frame C. So at the end, A is going to be coincident with frame C. These two interpretations will be useful later. Now let's see the rotation with respect to the current or the mobile system. In this case, a post multiplication with a rotation matrix will be needed. The example will clarify this. Let's consider an initial frame x0, y0, z0, and let's rotate it about the y-axis. So we apply a rotation about y and we use an angle of theta1. So first we rotate this about y0 and we obtain frame 1, which is a red frame. Now we have this rotated frame or mobile frame or current frame and we apply a rotation of theta2 about the z-axis, but this z-axis is the new z-axis. So it is the rotation of theta2 about the new or the, or the current z-axis, and we obtain this frame 2. The resulting rotation will be represented as follows. First, we applied this rotation, and then this rotation, but this was with respect to the current axis. So this will post multiply this one. So it's Ry, the first one, and then the second one, but this post multiplies the first one. And if we want to see this graphically, it will be the blue frame with respect to the black frame, which was the initial one. If we want to rotate with respect to the fixed frame, we have to pre-multiply. Let's see an example. We start again with the frame x0, z0, y0, and we rotate again an angle theta1 about the y-axis. So we have frame 1, which is the red one. But then we rotate again, but now an angle theta2 about z. But this time this z is the z of the initial frame or, or of the fixed frame. By doing that we get this frame, which is the blue one. We are rotating theta2 about z to obtain this frame too, but this z is with respect to the fixed or initial frame. Now we have this ry, which was the first rotation, and then this is the second rotation, but this rz is with respect to the fixed frame. So this will pre-multiply the first rotation. So we will have Ry and Rz will pre-multiply it. If you compare this with the previous example, you see that in the previous case it was past multiplication, now it is pre-multiplication. Let's consider another example. Let's say that we have this rigid body. We apply first a rotation of 90 degrees about Z. If we apply a rotation of 90 degrees about Z, we will obtain this frame. So X goes here and Y goes here. Now we will consider two cases. In the first case, we will apply a rotation of 90 about the current or the new y axis, so about this y prime. If we apply this rotation, this z will point to the right and this x will point down, as you can see in this picture. Now in this case, since we have applied this to the new y axis, it means that we have to do a post multiplication. So first it was z, then y. The second case is applying a rotation of 90 degrees about the fixed y-axis. So it won't be this y, but it will be this y, which was the initial y-axis. If we rotate about this y-axis 90 degrees, we will have that now this z will point 
in this to the front and this Y will point up. So we will have something like this. And in this case, since it was with respect to the fixed frame, this Y will pre-multiply this Z. So we'll have this. Y will pre-multiply this Z. It is important to point out that it is different to rotate about the current axis or about the fixed axis, as you can see here, because the final result will be different. Also, it should be noted that it's different to multiply RZ with RY or RY with RZ, so matrix multiplication is not commutative. This fourth example reinforces this idea. So again, we apply a rotation of 90 about Y, we get this. Then we apply a rotation of 90 about the current or the new Z axis and we obtain this frame. And this is again a post multiplication because it is with respect to the current frame. And the second case we apply a rotation but now about the fixed Z axis. And we end up in this configuration. And now in this case we apply a pre-multiplication because it is with respect to the fixed axis. And as a final example, let's apply the following rotations and let's see the expression of the resulting rotation matrix. Here we want to rotate first theta about the current x axis. So we just write theta about x. Then we want a rotation of phi about the current z axis. Since it is with respect to the current, it will be post multiplication. So we will have to multiply it here, as you can see. Then we apply a rotation of alpha about the fixed z axis. So we pre multiply all this with the rotation of alpha. Then we rotate beta about the current y axis. It's the current, so it will be a post multiplication. So we have this post multiplication. And finally, we rotate gamma about the fixed x axis. It is fixed, so it will be a pre multiplication. So we will have this. And this will be the resulting rotation matrix.